Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo and just like yesterday, we're going to do a video for the defensive fest characters that you should be prioritizing for all these PvE game modes like Immortal Typhoon, Immortal Victor, Reviving Hell's Dungeon, uh, the Elemental Events, and so on and so on and so on. So let's just jump into it. So we're just going to work our way from left to right just like we did in the last video and we're just going to be going over fest characters. I might bring up a uh, gold character, but pretty much it's just gonna be fest characters like what it was in the last video. Now the difference between the attack characters and the, the defensive characters is the defensive character you're gonna need all the colors. You're gonna need a purple team, you're gonna need a yellow team, you're gonna need a blue team, you're gonna need a red team, and you're gonna need a green defensive team. So you need all different types for defensive, all, all the colors. So that really makes all these defensive characters extremely relevant. Now the first one we have here is Psyche. Psyche is an amazing character because one, he's just amazing. But anyways, he's got three PG card. Uh, he does have the super armor. He has, and he has this great leadership, increased yellow element, fighter attack, active skill damage by 60% and decreased tag cooldowns by two seconds. He's an amazing character. Yeah, three PG card, nice long animation. Uh, he's extremely, extremely good in Reviving Hell's Dungeon. And again, the reason I, I focus my, most of my attention on Reviving Hell's Dungeon, as far as these characters, is because of these experience bottles. You need these things absolutely to level up your character. The further up you get in Reviving Hell's Dungeon, the more you'll be able to get, the more experience bottles you'll be able to get to level up your characters. Other than that, we just need memories to level up our characters. So Psyche would be an amazing character for your yellow team. Uh, Iori here is a green defensive fighter, which actually has the advantage against Immortal Victor, plus Iori deals bleed. Now, the thing about Iori that is kind of a bummer is his bleed is dependent on PvP. So, in PvE, he doesn't get all this bleed that you're looking at, which kind of sucks. I mean, he does get bleed, but it's not the same amount as what he gets in PvP. However, he's still a good character for... Immortal Victor because he does have the type advantage. Unfortunately, he does have a 5 PG card. It'd be a lot better if he had a 3 PG card because Immortal Victor drains your PG. But he's definitely a good candidate. I've heard some good things from some of my uh, Alliance members and friends about how well he can do in there. He definitely has good survivability. He can definitely hang in there even though he has no unity. So he's definitely a character to consider for it. Then we move along here and we go to Brian. Now, Brianne is a blue fighter, so she could be a good character for your blue team. Uh, she increased the lady fighter defenses by 55%. Uh, would be good for the blue character for lady fighters. However, with blue defensive fighters, I don't think this is really going to help that much. This leadership won't be that relevant, but she does have good damage. She's got the power charge rate, which is really nice. She's mainly going to be a character for the most part. That's going to be for Reviving Hell's Dungeon. That's really going to be her purpose. Uh, she's going to be there for Reviving Hell's Dungeon. She's a good solid character, but I really think she's more of a PvP character than a PvE character. But she, you could put her on that team. However, I think she kind of ranks kind of low depending on how many defensive characters we have. Now we have Lolly Kim. And Kim here, she has the leadership, of course, increased Lady Fighter attack by 55%. She is the purple defensive fighter. And she is an actually a very good character for Reviving Hell's Dungeon especially. Plus she's a purple fighter so she actually has the type advantage against Elemental Typhoon. So she could be proved to be very useful there. She does have a 5 PG card. But she has no... Well she does have PG gain so that's actually good. But the thing about the girl is she has the Petrify so she'll be absolutely amazing Reviving Hell's Dungeon. Just like Pretty Zero although... Kim here actually has Petrify from her core effect and from one of her skills. She also has Hyper Armor on her third skill, which really increases her survivability. She's actually a damn good character for the Reviving Hell's Dungeon and probably would be really good against Elemental Typhoon as well. So I think she'd be pretty much a must-have for your purple defensive team. Pretty Big here is an excellent red defensive fighter. 
and she has an amazing leadership. Increased defense, TIE Fighter defense by 50%, which is amazing. This is a great leadership for her red for the red defensive team because most defensive characters have uh, stats based on their defenses, attack stats based on the defenses. This is going to buff that up something fierce. Plus, she has hyper armor. You're going to be able to rotate through your skills. She's going to have a lot of extra five ability, especially with an active skill. So she would actually be a really good character for reviving Hell's Dungeon. However, I think that's kind of where it stops for her. I mean, she could be good against the spider robot, but I really think reviving Hell's Dungeons is where she's going to shine because of the hyper armor. She's just going to be you're going to be able to keep going through your active skills over and over and over. I think she's a, a really amazing character for it and really probably a must have. Then we go over to Ash. Ash is an excellent character for the green Team, and he also will have the type advantage against Mortal Victor. He doesn't deal any bleed damage, but if you, you're going to have two separate teams in the uh, Immortal Victor, and you can put him on the second team because it doesn't need bleed then. And he has the leadership increase, green element fighter attack by 45%, power charge rate by 20%. This is a massive leadership for Immortal Victor. That is a great leadership. He doesn't have any PG gain in his core effect, but he does get it from the leadership. Uh, the bad thing about this guy is he has no super armor. He does have damage immunity, which is great, but he has no super armor. So that's kind of the caveat to this dude, because when you're playing a mortal victor, you're not going to have a striker to bring in there and use, and he does have a 5 PG guard. So that's kind of the downfall to Ash. Plus, he deals a grab skill, and that doesn't work very well in more Victor. But he deals really good damage, and he's a great leadership for green fighters. So I actually think he'd be a, a great leadership for your green defensive team. And in Reviving Hell's Dungeon, you can bring in a Super Armor Striker, and you can give him the Kaya set, so he gets Super Armor for 5 seconds every time you tag him in. So actually, in Reviving Hell's Dungeon, he's pretty much a must-have. Then we go over to Vice, who's another purple. So Vice here is actually really damn good uh, for the Reviving Hell's Dungeon. But the problem with her is she does a lot of grab skills. That's kind of the thing about her that uh, she'll do really good against all the minions and she'll do really good again in Reviving Hell's Dungeon. Because she doesn't grab skills, she's going to be able to lock the characters down. I mean, especially if you got got Awakened skill, you can just keep running through your skills over and over and over. Now, I'm not really sure how she's going to do in higher ups and... The tiers, as far as, you know, the grab skills working very well on the bosses. But I would imagine in Reviving Hell's Dungeon, it would still work really, really well. And she also has the type advantage against the Elemental Typhoon. So she could, you could probably use her in there as well. She doesn't deal any chill, uh, shock damage. So she's really pretty much just going to be for uh, Reviving Hell's Dungeon for the most part. Then we scroll down a little bit here, and we have Nameless. Nameless is an absolute must-have for your purple defensive team. He is a must-have. He's got the insane long PG. This is about a 7-second uh, uh, ultimate skill, which is amazing for stalling that timer in Immortal Victor. You can use him in Elemental Typhoon because he has a type advantage. Uh, he's amazing and... Reviving Hell's Dungeon because he ha does have the damage immunity on his third skill. He also has insane damage uh, from his fourth skill. He gets attacked based on his defenses. Uh, he really is just an amazing freaking character. He does have the chance to get super armor from his core, but if you give him the chaos set, that's really the way to go because that way every time you tag in, he'll have super armor automatically for that five seconds. Nameless is a must. Then you have... Clone Zero. Clone Zero is actually really good for your red team. Uh, you know, increased red element fighter attack by 35%, decreased damage received from green element fighters. It's okay, but honestly, if you have pretty zero, or, I'm sorry, if you have pretty big, that's a much better leadership. And he is a sweet character because he does have the PG gain. He does have the recovery, the heal. He does have super armor, which is really nice in Reviving Hell's Dungeon. But that's kind of where it ends for this guy. Uh, you could use him in Elemental Typhoon, but he will have the type disadvantage, and he's not really that great against Immortal Victor. So really, as it stands right now, really Immortal Victor, I'm sorry, really Reviving Hell's Dungeon is really where it's at for that guy. 
Then you have Undertaker. Undertaker would be a great character for your yellow defensive team. Put uh, Psyche in the leadership. And then you got this guy on the team. He has the native super armor. He also has Petrify, which is freaking great. So once again, he is really just going to be a character for Reviving Hell's Dungeon. He does have the 3 PG card, but unfortunately this thing's a grab skill. It doesn't work in Immortal Victor. It won't work in Elemental Typhoon. Uh, it won't work against a Spider Robot. He's really not a very good character for them, but he is a good character for Reviving Hell's Dungeon, unfortunately. It kind of, you know, these characters that have these grab skills and the ultimate skills, it kind of decreases their value. Uh... In against the Mortal Victors, against the Spider Robot, against those game modes where grab skills don't work. And like the CC controls, like Petrify, I mean, that works in Reviving Hell's Dungeon, but it doesn't work against those other game modes as well. Now, let's see here. Then we got Leona. Leona is an excellent character for your blue defensive team. She does have a 3 PG card, but nobody really uses her for a Mortal Victor, to be, to be frank with all of you. Uh, she deals poison damage. I mean, she is good for Shazura and all that. But uh, she could prove to be useful against the Spider Robot, but she just deals poison damage. So you're going to have to have a Striker or a card on her that offers chill and shock damage, but still could prove to be useful. She does have the 3 PG card, which is nice. Her special is quite long. So she could prove to be effective, but she's a must-have for your blue defensive team for sure, in my opinion. Leona's got a lot of damn damage from that poison. Then you have K. K is an excellent character for your red defensive team. Now, I mentioned pretty big earlier, but this guy has an amazing leadership. Increased red element fires attack by 45% and power charge rate by 20%. So they're going to all have that PG gain, which is very important. Plus, K, you know, the thing about K is he does have a grab skill on his third skill, and it is a super armor skill. But honestly, he still can prove to be very useful against uh elemental typhoon actually he does have a long uh animation on his ultimate skill he deals a lot of freaking burn damage and he's actually great in reviving hell's dungeon so he would actually in my opinion would be a must-have for your red defensive team for sure whoops didn't mean to do that let me scroll over here scroll Yashiro, I'm sorry guys, but Yashiro is the bottom of the totem pole. I would not use this guy at all. I know, but I mean, if you have no choice, you can put him on the blue team. You can go ahead and use him, but really you'd be better off with someone like Gintoki here. Even though he's not a fest, you'd be better off with this guy. He has native super armor. He'd just be a lot better. Yashiro, from all the feedback I get, everybody just says trash. He can do okay in Reviving Hell's Dungeon, but the problem is... He's going to get guard broken, or his skills are going to get interrupted left and right when he isn't using his super armor. However, when you have your active skills, you'll be able to use the super armor over and over, but his animations are long. I just don't think he's the greatest character for it. I do want to touch on one more character, though, and that is Blue Jin here. Jin here, I know a lot of you don't have him, but if you do, he's a great fighter for your blue defensive team. You know, he's got the nice leadership, he's got hyper armor, he's got a 3 PG card. Really just a great character, but really mainly great for reviving Hell's Dungeon. For your yellow team, you'd want Psyche here. You're going to want Undertaker if you have him. And that sucks because a lot of people don't have him, he's a collab character. So there's only two yellow defensive fighters. So I'm pretty sure they're going to give us more yellow defensive fighters. A lot of people are not high enough in Reviving Hell's Dungeon that they need them yet. But, uh, you know, but some players are. But another yellow defensive fighter you could use is Baseball Shermie. She's actually really good. I mean, she does have grab skills. But for your defensive team, your yellow defensive team, and... Reviving Hell's Dungeon, you can use her. She does get the super armor. She does have an interrupt skill on her on her uh, first skill, which is very valuable. And she does have a stun even when they're guarding. So she's going to have some CC. She's going to have the super armor. She'd actually be a really good character for it. And she, you can use a 3 PG card on her as well. Really, she's just going to be good for Reviving Hell's Dungeon. But that's another yellow defensive fighter. As far as your green defensive team, you know, it's going to be Iori. It's going to be Ash. 
And then maybe you could use a character like, you know, Yellow Defensive Athena. She does have a 3 PG card. You could equip her... If you have it, you could equip this card here, which increases critical rate, decreases stun, freeze, and petri petrify. But you also have a... I think this goes up to 20% chance to gain super armor for 3 seconds when attacked. If she has this card, she'll get super armor, but you could always bring in a striker that has super armor. Uh, you could also use her, because once you start guard breaking or pen interrupting the skills of the characters in reviving hell's dungeon you start doing damage however i don't know how good she's going to be in a higher level because a lot of the bosses can actually debuff you so i'm not sure how well she would do but she might prove to be useful especially maybe if you have that card or if you don't have that card just have a striker with super armor that's just a suggestion unfortunately there's only two green defensive fest fighters as far as uh, blue defensive, you know, uh, Brian definitely for your Viving Hell's Dungeon. Leona, definitely. Uh, Jin, for sure. If you don't have Jin, I guess you could put Yashiro. But honestly, if you have Gintoki here, he'd probably be a better choice. And for your purple team, I mean, Lolly Kim, for sure. Vanessa, uh, Nameless, those are three main ones that you could definitely use for your purple team and they're the only three purple defensive fighters so that's pretty much what we got and then for your red defensive team you have pretty big who i think would be amazing for it you have clone zero who's also would be really good for reviving hell's dungeon you have uh k here which would be great for reviving hell's dungeon so you have three red defensive fighters that are all original characters, so that's really good. You can actually use those characters for your team. So that's all the best defensive characters that you can use for Reviving Hell's Dungeon. Again, that is the game mode that I focus on because you're going to be getting those experience bottles so you can start leveling up your characters as long as you're getting those memories. So again, hopefully this will help some of you out out there. And tomorrow we're going to be getting a new fighter. I'm really curious to see who it is. Some people speculate it's going to be Lady Geese. We will see. So let me know who you all think it's going to be. And let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.